everybody and welcome to Dublin 7. I'm here with Vanessa Fielding who's going to give us a tour of the complex behind us which she runs. Um, we are in an area um, that is close to Capel Street which is that way and Smithfield um, which is that way. It's called Erin Street East. Um, Vanessa would you like to tell us a little bit about this area? About the area? Well, I suppose it's mostly known for being a market and a markets area with a lot of trading. It opens at very uh, unusual times of the day. I think the traders come into work for three o'clock and they finish at lunchtime. So, and they open every day of the week. Um, it fits beautifully with a nighttime uh, place for arts activity because that we're open when they're closed and vice versa. But we started life really in the Ormond Multimedia Center, which was still in Dublin 7 um, and moved around with different offices and different premises along the way and doing site specific work. So we know the area very, very well. And we've worked alongside a lot of the social projects and youth projects of the area. So it's a brilliant place. It's a fantastic part of the city. And I think it sometimes doesn't get the recognition that it needs. Um, and I think it's, you know, it has a reputation for being very troubled, but it does have a very secure, uh, long standing uh, uh, sort of intergenerational uh, community of residents with also new professionals and then lots of new communities that came in. Very good. Um, so we're going to now go on a tour of the complex. Follow me. So Vanessa, Tell us about this space. Um, so this is the gallery, which is used, it's the ground floor gallery, we called it, which is a kind of name left over from our last incarnation up the road in Green Street. Um, it's mostly used for visual arts. So that would be a mixture of painting, installation work, sculpture, even a bit of live art um, has been, a film too has been here. Occasionally as well, uh, when there's nothing permanent here or temporary permanent as in, uh, there would also be um, photo shoots, um, fashion photo shoots here. Um, we would have rehearsals here. Um, we've had some inimitable choir rehearsals for the High Hopes Choir, who are um, from the homeless community who kind of have a base here. Great. It's a very unique um, look for, for Dublin. Um, it yeah. reminds me a lot of New Orleans. You have some arts and studios and, yes. um, and warehouse spaces. So I look forward to you coming to see loads of different things here uh, of all disciplines. There are 36 artists here all together in 17 studios. All of them are different sizes and the studio artists themselves all have different practices, but they're all obviously artists and they be on the pure art side of things. So in this block here, there are eight studios and nearly all of them are visual artists. Um, upstairs, they are a mixed practice. So we go up the stairs, nobody got vertigo, I hope. This is the upper tier of the studios. We built all of this and we built these, some of which we converted from fridges, but most of which we built from original structures. Um, this is DDR and they are Dublin Digital Radio. So this is their studio um, and they broadcast digitally, obviously, from in here um, and their, their studio is soundproofed. Um, so you can tell when they're working because they have an on-air si sign, which lets us all know that um, they're, you can't go in and they're broadcasting. So these are original doors that we kept. Um, and this is a theatre company called Broken Talkers Theatre Company. So these are busy on their own. Um, there's the on-air the on sign. That's it, but the light's not on, so. <laughs> So they're not, they're not functioning. It's 
So this is the main space um, and it is really just opening now. Um, it too was full of fridges. I think fridges are now going to withdraw in my consciousness but it, they were huge and we took them out and this was the space that obviously lent itself so incredibly well to performance in our opinion uh, and uh, after a, a, a large survey um, of all arts practitioners we have um, confirmation that this is really the space that Dublin needs an open plan totally versatile space where you can come in and make your stage or make your performance or make your film or make or your fashion show anything any way you want so we have a number a gross number of different stages and rises all modular um, which means that you can present in all the modern ways of doing contemporary ways of, of presenting work live work so let's go into mary's abbey which will be the entrance for the audience um, it's the lobby that we have which uh, is a pretty space on its own again within the aesthetic of the whole building um, and we've exposed a lovely old wall uh, that we know dara loves um, so this is uh, this is where you will, this is your first port of call when you come into the main venue. So I think the thing that makes the complex um, a different kind of place is that um, it's multidisciplinary and you'd find that it also, uh, there wouldn't be a facility in some, most of the other theatres to do things like circus or um, oh, right. things that have a multidisciplinary approach. So they could, you know, they're very, the venues are quite theatre orientated yeah. with f a fixed arrangement. So this is mm -hmm. adding an, an, an alternative offering um, where you can um, consider the middle ground, say, between uh, a gallery and a club night oh. or between theatre and um, immersive theatre. It's kind of bizarre that our, uh, Dublin as a capital city hasn't had one of these kind of things uh, in my time living here which is 31 years now um, so I'm really happy that there is one and uh, long may it last. And the brick here was un yeah. uncovered, the gorgeous. It was, the scourges it was and originally we were going to put the stairs there but I couldn't bear to do that so uh, we reorientated them and put them this way instead. That breeze wall didn't look nearly as interesting. Um, we were able to do that. So anyway, thanks so much and um, thank you. Uh, we'll see you back here on the 10th. Great, thank you so much Vanessa. <laughs>